In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can group your Google Home and your Chromecast audio supported devices together so that you can easily play music throughout your entire home. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. If you own a Google Home or a Chromecast device, make sure you hit subscribe below as my channel is all about helping you learn these products better. So first, let's talk about what an audio group is. So this is the way that Google has allowed you to be able to group a bunch of supported speakers together so that you can play music on all of them at one time. So let's talk about what devices are supported. So first off, we have the Google Home, we have the Google Home Max, the Google Home Mini, and then we have the Google Home Hub, as well as the Chromecast Audio or other Chromecast Audio supported devices. So even if you don't have an official Google Home from Google, you may have a third party device that has that audio group support built in. Now next, let's talk about Chromecast. So the Chromecast first generation is not supported. But if you have a Chromecast second generation, a Chromecast third generation, or a Chromecast Ultra, those can now be included within an audio group. So one question I have actually been asked a lot is can I take my Chromecast and play a video to it and then take the audio and play it to my Google Home? Well, that is not supported, so you will not be able to do that. But now with this new update, you can have music play on the Chromecast device as well as the Google Home at the same time, which is pretty impressive to be able to do that on all of these different devices. So now that we've talked about what devices are supported, let me show you how to get it set up. Before you set up your home audio group, make sure you've set up all of your devices on your Wi-Fi network. Then make sure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now you can do this if you have an Android phone or an iOS device. So now I'm going to go into the Google Home application. And right here on the main page, you will see this add option. So if I select add, I then get the option to create a speaker group. So this is what will allow us to add all these into one group. So if you open that up, it will instantly find all of the different Google Homes and Chromecast audio supported devices on your Wi-Fi network. So here I have a Chromecast audio built in, uh, so a third party Google Home speaker. Here I have a Google Home Hub, a Chromecast Ultra, and all of the different supported devices. So then you just go through and select which ones you want. So we want the Office Display, Chromecast Ultra, the Google Home, the Office TV, which is a third generation Chromecast. The second generation Chromecast does show up, and the first generation does not show up. It is not supported for the multi-room audio group. Then here we have a Chromecast Audio, the basement speaker, our Google Home Minis in a different room. Here we have another Google Home. Here we have the Google Home Max, we want that. And then here we have the Google Home Mini. So there you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven devices all in this room that we're going to be testing out today. And then I'm going to select next and here is where you will choose what the name of this speaker group is. So we're gonna keep it at home group. So now that we have created that group, if I go back and we scroll down to the bottom of the Google Home application, here you will see your different audio groups. So I already have one called Office Group or Office, and then there you can see my home group and you can see that I have those seven devices right there. If I wanted to have it just start playing music, I can just press right there and it will begin playing music. But if I open this up, we have a few options. Here we can instantly control the volume. You also have pause and play controls of anything that's being cast to that audio group. Up here in the settings, we can change the volume individually on every device that is in that home audio group. So here I could change the volume of the Chromecast Ultra, the Google Home, and so on. And then if you want to adjust the settings on any of the specific devices, just tap the gear icon right there to adjust those settings. So then if I go back, I can then change the settings of this home group. So there we can see that we have the group name. Here we have our different devices. And if I want to add more devices, I can just select choose devices. There you can see all the ones I already have. And here are other available devices in my home. And if we go back, I do have the option to delete the group as well. So now you can go to a music app and begin casting to that home audio group. So here I can select the cast icon and then I can scroll through my list of supported devices. And here I have the home group. So I select that 
and then it will connect to all of the devices in my home. And now when I select play, it will play on all of those at one time. Now you can see as I change the volume on my phone, it's changing that entire cast group. If you go to one of the cast devices and change the volume, it will only change the volume on that cast device. So here you can go through and change them all individually, or I can actually go back to the Google Home application right here. Sometimes it takes a bit to refresh, so I go back into the home group. Here I have the music that's playing, I have the volume, so I can change the volume on the entire group right there. And then if I want to pause, I can do that, play, and then skip to the next song. I have all of those features right there. Now that we have our home audio group set up, you can go to any music application that supports casting and cast to all of the speakers at one time. But for the most part, I like to cast via voice so that I can just activate one of my Google assistants and then play a song throughout the whole home. So here are some of the commands that you need to know. So first of all, you would activate your Google Home and then you would say play whatever song you want on home audio group. And then it will be able to cast to all of those speakers at once. And you can also change the volume by voice as well. And you'll see it pop up up here on the TV showing that it's um, playing music up there as well. Hey Google, play my office party playlist on home group. Sure, playing your Google Play Music playlist called Office Party on Home Group. So now it is playing on all the speakers at one time, and then I can go through and manually change them, or I can say, hey Google, set home group to five volume. There you go, and over here you can see on the Chromecast Ultra, it is playing there as well. So now there are a few different audio delays happening right now where it's not completely synced up. Let me show you how to fix that. Now, if you have a speaker that is delayed from the other devices, maybe you're using your Google Home Mini and Bluetoothing it to another Bluetooth speaker, there is a way to fix that. So it's called an audio delay. And is how you fix that is you're gonna actually go into the settings of that device. So we can just click settings right here. And let's say it's my Google Home Mini that's having the issue. So I would select the settings icon again, and then I can scroll down here to the bottom. And here under the advanced option, I have group delay correction. So now I can actually have the audio sync from this better to the rest of the group. So then I can go through here and adjust those commands. So let's say we play our music again. <laughs> And you would just go through and adjust the milliseconds that is delayed to fix that audio delay so that you don't have those issues anymore. So here it recommends start casting music, stand to where you hear the delay, and then adjust until the audio is synced together. All right, I think I have it all fixed. And now when it plays, it just sounds super crisp and clear. Everything is all synced up. And then whenever you're ready to stop playing, hey Google, stop. It will then stop playing the cast session. So there you go. That is how you can create and organize your home audio groups. If you have any further questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more things that you can do with your Google Home and Chromecast, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.